interactive tutorial. Play along, or just watch the video. It's up to you. Scenes are like levels in a game, or scenes in a movie. They're made up of elements. Elements are like the props, sets, music, effects, and the characters in a game or movie. Basically, anything that you can build inside a scene and save to the Dreamiverse. Scenes are connected together to form dreams, which are the games, movies, and experiences you'll find when you're dream surfing. But we're not here to dream surf. We're here to dream shape, or rather, to master dream shaping. When you're ready to power into edit mode, select the arrow button on the video to start the next step. You know we're in edit mode because the assembly menu is at the top of the screen. That's where you'll find all the tools you need to make scenes. The assembly menu is opened and closed by pressing the square button. You won't need it just yet, so go ahead and close it with square. Now, for something to do. Ah, yes. I'm in a bit of a sticky situation because our Dreamiverse explorer Connie got ticked off at me yesterday. She's gone off in a huff, and I want to apologise. Not to worry, Connie always leaves clues wherever she goes. Before we follow her mysterious clues, you'll need to learn how to move in scenes. Let's start by looking around. Right now, you can see a cloud with shapes on it in front of you. If you push the right stick left and right, you'll be able to look around the scene. Is there an orange cone around here? You found it. I think there's a blue cube around here somewhere too. See if you can find that one. Now try looking up with the right stick and find the pink pyramid. That's the one. OK, let's turn back towards the shapes floating on the cloud. Connie's always doodling on things that are lying around. Move around the cloud using the left stick. Push it left and right to move sideways, and up and down to move forwards and backwards. Remember that, left stick to move, right stick to rotate your view. Easy. Can you see anything here that looks like a clue? Once you've got something, we can get on Connie's trail. If you want to rewatch this step, you can. Hover your imp over the buttons on the video to see what they do. Use the skip buttons to move between tutorial steps. Or just rewind 10 seconds if you miss something. Grab and move the video with your imp using R2, if it gets in your way. You can also minimise the video, or make the video full screen if you prefer. When the video is full screen, you can see more information about the steps. Once the video is finished, select the arrow icon to move on to the next step. Did you find that clue? It was on the back of one of those shapes, right? Looks a bit like a rocket. A cryptic message from Connie. Why don't you look around with the right stick for any rocket-related mischief? Oh, look over there, on that cloud. Those shapes look a lot like the ones in Connie's clue. Go on, fly over there and check it out. Remember, pushing up on the left stick moves you forwards, and you can use the right stick to change direction. Once you reach the cloud, make sure you're looking right at the cylinder and the cone. When you're ready, move on to the next step. Think back to Connie's first clue. The cone was on top of the cylinder, right? But how can you move them? Well, in edit mode, you interact with everything using your imp the very tip of your imp's pointy part. See how there's an icon in a circle there? That shows you what tool the imp is using. And since it's the arrows icon, the imp must be using the move tool. That's the default tool in edit mode, because editing a scene means moving things around a lot. Let's see the imp in action. 
first grab the cone. Hover over it with your imp and hold the R2 button. Now your imp has it, use the motion sensor function to move it around. Try to put it on top of the cylinder, just like in the clue. Use the left stick to move the cone backwards and forwards. Objects in scenes can intersect and overlap, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Get it roughly into place, and I'll show you how to refine it later. Once you're done, you're ready for the next step. That looks pretty good, at least from this angle. Creating scenes in three-dimensional space means you should look at your creations from different angles. The easiest way to do that is with the grab cam. Instead of moving the objects you grab, GrabCam moves your point of view around them. Try it out on the cone. Hover over it, then press and hold R1. Now pushing the left and right sticks moves your point of view around the cone. Easy! Now you can get a proper look at it, check that the cone is on straight. So, not like mine. Let go of R1 to stop using the grab cam, and use R2 to make any adjustments you need. Here's a little secret. The harder you press R2, the more tightly you'll grab the cone. If you hold R2 lightly, you'll be able to move the cone slowly and have more control over it. Once you're happy the cone is straight, you can move on to the next step. Hey, look at that! Connie's second clue. It's a molecule. Wonder if there's another one of those around. Why don't you look around with the right stick? Ah, there's another molecule. Over there on that cloud. Hot on Connie's trail. It'll take forever to get there using the left stick. Luckily, you can use the grab cam to get there quicker. Give it a try now. Hover your imp over that orange cube in the distance. Hold R1 to grab it with the grab cam. Then gently push up on the left stick to zoom right on over. Just keep holding R1 till you made it all the way to the cloud. See, I told you it was quicker. But there's an even faster way to zip around scenes. It's just like the grab cam, but you'll also need to hold the L1 button. You see, L1 is a very special button. You know how on a computer keyboard, holding down Shift changes what the other keys do? Well, holding down L1 changes what the other buttons do. Maybe best if I show you. You see that rocket you built earlier? Hover your imp over it. Now hold L1 and then press R1, which is the grab can button. You don't have to hold it or use the stick this time. Nyo! Fast, huh? Try it out again on the return journey. Hover your imp over the orange cube. Hold L1, then press R1 to zoom right on over. Now that you know how to move around quickly, see if you can find Connie's next clue. Remember to use the grab cam to look around this cloud. Once you've got the clue, you can move on. Did you find Connie's last clue? It was on the back of the orange cube. Not sure what it means. Can't see any other green trash cans around. Unless, of course, the trash can is the icon for the delete tool. Connie's so devious. She must want us to delete the orange cube. You can delete anything in edit mode using the triangle button. Just hover your imp over the cube, then press triangle. Hey, it's gone. We'll show Connie. Delete the orange sphere next. 
But if you change your mind or delete the wrong thing, you can press undo, which is the left directional button. And if you want to redo, just press the right directional button. You can undo and redo pretty much anything, not just deletions. Oh, look! There was a clue hidden in the cube. Hmm, an arrow. Must be another one like it nearby. Look around with the right stick and see if you can spot it. Once you've found it, you can move on to the next step. That was Connie's final clue, telling us where to go. The cloud was right above us. I know you're an expert in moving around with the left and right stick now, but I've got one more technique to show you. Remember how holding L1 changed what the grab cam did? Well, it can also change what the left stick does. Normally, it moves you backwards and forwards in the direction you're facing. But if you hold L1 at the same time, the left stick will make you move up and down instead. Try getting up to the last cloud that way. Position yourself so you're looking at the orange arrow that's pointing up. Now hold L1 and push up on the left stick. We have liftoff! Keep pushing the left stick until you reach the cloud. When you're ready, move on to the next step. And here she is, Connie! Sorry about ticking you off before, Connie. Hopefully you can do something kind for her. Let's help her walk through the door and end this scene. But to do that, we're going to have to switch over to play mode. Remember, right now you're in edit mode, which is where you create and edit your scenes. In play mode, you can experience the scene just like a player would if they'd found it in the Dreamiverse. You can't make any changes in play mode, but you can take control of characters and try out what you've made. Switch over to play mode now. Just press the options button on your controller. Hover over the controller icon with your imp, then press X to select it. To control a puppet in a scene, you first need to possess them with R2. So do that with Connie now, and walk through the door with her to finish the tutorial. Hmm, looks like the door's too high. There's more to Connie than meets the eye though. She might be able to reach if you make her jump by pressing X. Ah, I remember now. She's mad because I always forget to put the steps in. Better head back into edit mode. To switch back to edit mode, just press Options again, then select the pencil icon. Did you see those stairs on the cloud below us? Those might come in handy now, so strafe down to them with L1 and the left stick. If you've deleted the stairs, you can use Undo by pressing the left directional button. Just keep pressing it until the stairs come back. OK. Press and hold R2 to grab them. And without letting go, hold L1 and use the left stick to strafe back up to Connie. Now place the stairs in front of the door and let go of R2. There, that should do it. It's back to play mode now. Remember, press Options, then select the controller icon with X. You'll be switching back and forth between edit and play mode a lot when you're creating your own scenes. 